musculature on her. <laughs> Dug up this nest. Let's see if there's any more babies in here. Oh, holy cow. Hey, and welcome back all of you critter lovers and ecology enthusiasts for part three of our hunting invasive Burmese pythons 40 nights consecutively. If you haven't seen part one and part two, make sure you go watch those first. In this video, we remove some giant pythons and find some really cool natives as well. Thanks so much for watching. Snatchling. <laughs> <laughs> Number two for the night. Ah. <laughs> it's insane to think this animal could eat deer in just a few years. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't stay, buddy. You're so pretty. It's like he's singing. Oh yeah, good size snake. <laughs> good grab, Megan. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Nice. You need to grab head for you. Will you grab? I can grab tail for you. Yeah. yeah. Literally never caught a snake here in the past three years, and this year, what is this like eight? What an animal. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Are you okay? I can't believe how much this one's fighting. I, know, right? I guess I can entirely. Some give up immediately, others do not. This one's wrapping Meg up, but she's got it on her own there. She knows what she's doing. Oh, yeah. What a woman. <laughs> Finally getting into some good sized snakes, too. No more of those six footers and hatchlings, right? We're gonna get a ton more hatchlings, but <laughs> this is a yeah, a little noodled out. Oh, oh here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> she said, "What'd you say? Did you say something?" <laughs> uh -oh. That twenty-fifth python in the past seven days. It's a good sized snake. There we go. Yeah. Nice. It was doing a huge periscope. I honestly didn't recognize it as a snake for a second. I was like, what is that white pipe sticking up? Little scarlet snake. Scooting and or booting. Scooting and booting. <laughs> Scooting and booting. <laughs> Look at that. It's flipped a tiny little ring neck. Under this piece of garbage. Oh, squiggle away, buddy. I'm sorry. I'll take you back. She has been bitten by some gators. Oh yeah, she is. Wow, bite mark, bite mark, scratches. Turtles are resilient. You get bit on the bottom too? Yeah. She got out and got away. What a survivor. Oh, wow. Oh, you toss, little lady. Crazy amount of snakes. Oh look, there's a fourth right there. Four green waters. Such high density right here. Uh, it is 3.30 in the morning. We have not caught a python yet. Out walking. I went to a class at 8 a.m. this morning. Yeah, she had made it again this morning. She's crazy. Doesn't even feel like bugs are out. I mean, look, compared to any other night, I'm not getting bit up. I'm not getting swarmed like usual. It's weird. It's very dead out here. 
So it started raining this night and it didn't stop for four nights and we basically saw nothing but a couple of water snakes. It is 86 degrees tonight, real hot and buggy. We have had an awful, awful, awful past three nights. Actually the past two nights we didn't even see a single live snake. Something feels different tonight. I think we're gonna get back on these snakes and I'm hoping for some better nights. Yep. Oh yeah, thank god. Almost got bit. <laughs> I've been really bad at my head grabs lately. Okay, no. <laughs> oh, yay. Yes. This is broken. I, I literally recorded that like two minutes ago when I said it feels different tonight. You're an awesome snake. Yeah, you are. Woo! Much needed. There. Yeah. Decent size. You wanna grab this one, Meg? Sweet, number two of the night. I knew tonight felt different. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, oh, poor little guy. guy. Interesting, this is a new area. I wonder if we can get lucky with some more right here. <laughs> Looks pretty small. Pretty yeah, it fresh. is small. That's where the umbilical was and it was absorbing the yolk. So just like how humans have right an umbilical there? and a belly button. Yeah, that's the snake's belly button right there. That's where it absorbed the yolk. Look at how gravid this beautiful, beautiful green water snake is. Wow. Look at how big she is. Oh, here <laughs> you go. Oh, yeah. And you can see this, this chunk in the mid body there is extra thick. She's about to drop babies any day now. Aww. Run. Run. Oh, you're a pretty little snake. First snake of the night. <laughs> First snake in the night, baby. Literally didn't see ah. a native all night. Ah. 1 a.m. That nice. is so cool. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember that log being there. <laughs> Hell yes. Oh, there's a little bit of blood. Yeah, I don't know how she got that. I think she, she bit herself when... Look at her doing this pretzel right now. She's doing really good. Oh, you're good. I'm good to look completely like that. Yeah. It's good there. She's wrapping. Yo, you ready to turn your wrists? Switch hands. She's gonna try and throw this coil over your wrist so you let go. And she can get her head freed. But right now, I think she's starting to realize she lost. Oh, still fight. Still more fight. Not even lifting the snake up right now. She's just pushing. That's our biggest snake so far on our bender, easily. You wanna hold this snake, Meg? Of course I do. Woo! <laughs> wow, that snake took off immediately. I ran up, grabbed the tail and pulled it back and Meg put the boot over the head like a champ. I thought she got bit, somehow she didn't. <laughs> Great capture, Meg. All right, we're gonna get this lady into the bag. But just, that is a good snake to remove from the ecosystem. Even at this size, this snake could eat a juvenile deer, as crazy as that sounds. So, one more deer eater out of here, making the local neighborhood safer. Look at how thick yeah. this mus, this is all musculature yeah, it's right impressive. Here. That is muscle, this little line. Well. One more out the glades. Yep. That's what we're here for. I'm sorry, lady. Another life. We'd be best friends.
you were wondering how many nights consecutive do you have to go to get a big one, the answer is 27. <laughs> Night 28, first snake of the night. Hello. Hello. Sorry, buddy. Nice. Sorry, kid. Really pink on the bottom. I wonder if that's I wonder how it's fresh. fresh. Yeah. Hold on. Right here. <laughs> oh, wow. I saw this much of a tail poking off the road. Almost missed them. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got you. Crawling out of the water. Okay, it's okay. Aww. Here you go, little fella. See you later. Hey, friends. It's a pretty cotton mouth. Some good colors, good size. Go eat some baby pythons. That is really cute. Look at them. This tiny little snake there doing a periscope. Just like we see the big pythons doing. And little snakes will do it too. Fuck their head up so they can get a better view. Thought you were a giant snake for a second. Hello. Sorry to bother you. They are really such just pretty snakes. Will you be gentle? He's not being gentle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for taking those bites, man. It's pretty chill of you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ow! Oh, that your other hand. Ow! Can you grab the head, please? Oh, it's very bitey. Ow. Ow. Very bitey. Aww. I'm stuck. Please don't. <laughs> very bitey. <laughs> and that's why we grab him behind the head. Historically, there was a lot of hatchlings in this spot two years ago. So, I wonder. We'll take a look around. Woo! Five minutes later, we got another python. Another little hatchling right here. That's cool. Not from the same clutch, we're in a different area. It's still cool that we're picking them off. Yeah. Get them before they get their first meal. It is 3 a.m. and our buddy Matt who runs the South Florida, Southwest Florida Rattlesnake Project. He is out hunting right now. And he called us saying we need a big <laughs> bag. So we're gonna go see what he's got and help him remove whatever quote unquote big <laughs> snake he's got. All right, this is what we're pulling up on. Um, <laughs> you know, tell us what this is. Yeah. How, how, how big uh, is this? Is this venomous? Pretty sure this is a Nerodia. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying to get her into the bag, but she was not having it. The snake still had a lot of fight in her. Meg actually saved my crotch from getting bit by the snake. I mean, Jesus Christ, look how close that was. Ugh. We had to tie her out for a bit longer so we could get her into the bag to remove her. After a while, we were finally able to get her into the bag and remove this invasive deer eater out of the Everglades. Let's 
just a cool way to find a cotton mouth at night. Coiled up right on the edge of a brush line in an ambush position. So he's just waiting for rodents to run along this grass line here. And then he would bite them and track them down after he inventivates them. That's cool. <laughs> Run, Megan, run! <laughs> Woo, not like 40 yard dash for a little P word right there. Get him, Meg, get him. Oh. Awesome. Little, little snap dragon. <laughs> really bagging the snake. And I looked forward and I said, I think there's a snake coming on the road. <laughs> what is that? Another python. Okay, so it is game on here. There is a nest that just popped. Yeah, these babies don't they even are know tiny. what's going on. Game on. Let's wow. get some hatchlings tonight, Meg. Nice. <sighs> ah! Okay. Oh, oh, there it goes. Kidding. Number Amazing. three in the past 10 minutes. Let's go. See Meg up there. She just, I uh, assume, got another snake. Why she stopped. I think that's four so far. I just dug a nice hole here. Because this is kind of the center where we're finding all these hatchlings. So, you know, the nest is somewhere around. This looks great. Nothing in there though. Looked pretty deep. Not a. And then, same with over here. Did not see a snake in this stuff. But this is kind of what I would expect there to be a nest in. These deep cavities can be 100% hidden and not even be above the surface. That's what these snakes like. So keep my eye out for more stuff like this. Always finding weird stuff out here. I just saw this handle poking out and there's a machete buried under the dirt. I have no idea how long that's been here. At least a few days. <laughs> Sweet, there was a good like hour break. We didn't see any, we're still here. This is number five. Aww. Oh, poor kid. Aww. All right, yeah, definitely probably worth staying here the rest of the night. Rah! Look at that. Shined over and there's another one out scooting and booting. Number six. Oh, oh. This one actually fired up. <laughs> Look how pink that belly is. That's a fresh, fresh hatchling right there. Oh yeah. Kyle is out looking for more right now and I just got another. Look at how pink that belly is, wow. Number seven. Oh, you are so cute. Why can't you just be a native? <laughs> oh, I feel bad for grabbing you by the head. Night 32, back at the same spot. Got here a little later than we wanted to and some members of the public had already gotten three snakes from here. And I just spotted this guy. He's crawling in the grass. Just crawl that right here. First snake of night number 32. Here's number two, crawling through the grass. From somewhere back there. I don't know where though. Oh, baby python, wow. Ah, oh, why are you so cute? Third one of the night. We never did end up finding the nest because it was most likely on fenced in private property based on where the babies were coming out of. But we did remove as many babies as we could from that clutch. Stay tuned and watch for part four. We had some insane nights where we caught a lot of adult pythons. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.